subjects of the providence of prophecy, and I hope you realize I'm not trying to wear anybody out. Really, I'm not trying to just take a bunch of messages and string them out either. Uh, sincerely hope you're not getting numb or, or hardened to the subject of prophecy. That'd be the opposite of what I'm trying to accomplish here. Uh, it's just that God, He says to preachers, He said, preach the Word. And uh, when it comes to the Bible, understand that the Bible, though practical and helpful, uh, on all fronts, and a man can certainly take uh, that aspect and preach uh, a lifetime on that aspect alone. Still, the Bible does more than just contain prophecy. It is a prophecy book, and that's what it's about. And uh, some think about Bible prophecy, obviously their mind was going to go to the book of Revelation as uh, if this is the only book of prophecy that there is in Scripture, and that's simply not true. Uh, we've already looked together, beginning in Genesis chapter 1, and on through the book of Genesis, and then Exodus, and Leviticus, and, and Numbers, and honestly, we could have continued going in that direction uh, as long as we'd wanted to. We didn't even scratch the surface. But suffice it to say that uh, whether we're considering uh, stated prophecy, which will number well over a thousand, or what the Scriptures themselves call the shadows of good things to come, the Bible as a whole is prophetical. Every Old Testament book, and there are 39 of them, Every one of the 27 New Testament books involves prophecy and contains prophecy. But the reason why people, when they think about prophecy, their minds go to the book of Revelation is because it is a book that has as its theme prophecy. And the Lord not only tells Jesus.